Before registering for classes, you'll need to build your timetable. Many courses have multiple sections, and when creating your timetable, you'll decide which section to register for. First, you'll have to determine on what days and during what times each section of the course is being offered. This can be done by searching the class schedule. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll access the class schedule through the Lookup Classes tool while being logged in to Aurora. You may also search the class schedule without logging in to Aurora. Your search will provide the same information, but the appearance may be a little different from what you'll see in this tutorial video. From the Registration and Exams page, click on Lookup Classes to start your search. Select the term for which you would like to see the class schedule information. Here you may choose to do a simple search by subject or an advanced search. For a quick list of courses offered in a term, select a subject from the list. To search for more than one subject, hold the control or command key while selecting all of the subjects you would like to include in your search. Upon selecting a course from this list, you'll be provided with more detailed schedule information. Let's take a look at the advanced search. You may use any combination of options to narrow your search results. You must choose at least one subject. Subjects are in alphabetical order. By typing the first letter of the subject that you're searching for, such as C for chemistry, you'll automatically be taken to all the subjects that start with that letter. Here's a look at the other search fields that are available in Advanced Search. The Course Number field is where you can enter the four-digit course number, if you already know it. If you'd like to narrow your search to a specific level, say all 1,000 level courses, you can add a percent symbol after the year. For example, typing in 1%, will show you all 1,000 level courses in that subject area. Typing in 2% will show you all 2,000 level courses in that subject area, and so on. The Campus field narrows your search based on where the course is offered. The Part of Term field allows searches based on the part of term in which the courses are offered. The Instructor field allows you to select an instructor from a drop-down menu. The names in the menu are listed in alphabetical order. The Attribute Type field allows you to search for a course that meets a specific requirement, such as the Written English requirement. The Start and End Time and the Days fields allow you to search based on when a course is offered, either during a particular time of day or on certain days of the week. Let's look at an example using the Campus Search field. For example, if you're interested in taking only courses available through distance or online education, you can select that option from here. In this case, leave all highlighted in the subject menu. Your search results will show all of the courses that are offered by distance and online education in the term that you selected. Subjects are listed in alphabetical order. We'll take a closer look at the search results and what they mean in the next tutorial. Let's look at another example using the time and day search fields. In this example, we'll be searching for a sociology course offered Monday, Wednesday, and Friday any time between 8 a.m. and 12 p.m. Select Sociology from the subject box, select 8 a.m. for your start time, and 12 p.m. for your end time. Check the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday boxes. Your search results will show all of the sections that take place during the time period you specified. You'll also notice that in this example, Sociology 1200 is a spanned course. A spanned course is a course that takes place over or spans both the fall and winter term. Registration in spanned courses is explained in more detail in tutorial 3.5, Other Registration Examples. The next tutorial will take a closer look at our search results.